Welcome to IT Weekly 2000... 201! 201. 2012. 2012. Something like that, man. It season 2. Season 2 of IT Weekly. One of IT Weekly. My name is Tim Smith. Jake Standish. And we're going to start the season off by gonna redefining our mission and exploring what all that means. I don't think it's redefined. Well, exploring. Exploring the mission. I'm good Restating. With that. Restate the mission. But, you know, let's talk about mission and vision for a second. I'm from California, so I'm really excited to talk to you about California missions. There were many Pedros who came through... Tim, no. This is not the mission that we're talking about. Oh. It's different. Different... Term. Yes! In mission Impossible 4! No, it's Tim. coming out in December. No, no. You got Ethan so, Hawke and... So mission, as in, like, your plan. What, what you want to get out of something. Measurable goals. If you choose goals. to accept it. Well... It's not impossible, what oh, we okay. are going to do. Sweet. Actually, defining mission helps to make it so it's not impossible. Well, that's good to know. So, it's good to have a mission, and it kind of defines the direction you're going so that you're not just aimlessly wandering. That's important. It is very important. And we, we find this happening a lot for people. Yeah. Um, my, myself, I aimlessly wandered through Twitter for uh, about a year. This was a few years now, back. Now, you say aimlessly wander... How? I didn't see much value in it. Did I you, tweeted, but... Wait, wait, wait. You didn't see much value. What did you want to get out of it? Exactly. So you didn't know what you wanted to get I out of it. I didn't have a mission. Because you, you, you just kind of sat there, and you, you read about what I was eating for breakfast, oatmeal every day, and you're kind of like, this is lame. Yeah. Because you didn't know what you wanted to get out of it, right? Yeah. So definitely, if you set a mission, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to uh, focus where you want to go. I, I've, we've talked a lot about this since the beginning, uh, since we started working together, since we didn't know each other before working together. And we believe that you need to set these missions, you need to set up these missions before you start any instructional technology uh, endeavor. There, there needs to right. be a lot of thought. There needs to be some thinking about this. and not Before just, jumping in. Just don't jump out and start doing it. It's like, why do you want to use it? What purpose is it going to fulfill? And then how are you going to complete it? Because that's the other thing. A lot of times you start something. And you go, oh, that didn't work. It didn't work because you didn't have a mission. Yes. So, so that's, that's our message here. We are going to define our mission in a moment to you for uh, IT Weekly's book. We're also offering a suggestion that you define yeah. some for yourself for this, this year. Uh, with obviously, an instructional mission. And with that, you need some measurable goals. So writing a mission that really clearly states some things you might do. Where is it you want to go with it? What, what are some things you want to do? You know, without a, without a mission, you have no direction. And you may, you try to go everywhere. And you end up going nowhere. Of course, those are some cliches lots, that makes, makes was sense. It, was it fail to plan, plan to fail, all those great ones? No, yes. just define a few goals. Um, you know, things that are measurable, that are easy to, to accomplish, or that you can accomplish. It could be right? simple. It could be a simple sentence of why it is you're doing what you're doing. And, right. And it's important. And don't take on too much. That is for sure. But that's why you set you set this mission. Uh, right. That kind of don't thing. Don't make your mission Herculean. I mean, you don't have to Correct. conquer start, the world. Start small. You know, uh, when we started talking about IT Weekly, uh, CMS IT Weekly, we found some notes yes, that we went did. all the way back to... Uh, December. All the way back. To December 2010. Now, here's well, we the started in November, so that's yeah, true. Here's the interesting thing: we we had a, a kind of a quick idea of what we wanted to do in December of 2010, and in fact, these were supposed to be five minutes long, and had, <laughs> we didn't stick to that right away. So we're at four right we're now. We're at four minutes. Okay. And uh, and in these notes, what I thought was interesting is even though we talked about in December, we didn't do our first CMS IT Weekly till March 1st. Right. Very important date, but that's another story. Yes. March 1st. So we took three months to kind of play with and, and figure out, did we have the time? Are we able to do this? And, uh, and to come up with what is our mission. Yeah. And our mission has not changed much. We kind of added kind of to it. refined it, yeah. Changed a few verbs is all. But uh, our mission really for our IT Weeklies is to share ideas, tools, and products. Just what is available in the context of instructional technology. Yep, so. to, to offer out uh, possibilities, uh, not necessarily that these are things that you have to do, but these are just ideas that we're playing with, that we're interested in, that are possible within CMS. And you might like some. You may think others are, are, are not worth it. You may hear us talk very passionately about something. Just, this is the best thing. You, you sh it, it's wonderful. Try it. 
we're not saying you you have to do it. We're not no. saying that it you must do it. I mean, it's we don't mandate things. We're by no suggesting means. some possibilities, and we want to help you bring it about. We think they're yeah. good. We think they're possible, and we want to we want to throw it out there. And and that's part of creating a community. And one of the great things about the possibilities is we get that conversation yeah. with other people sharing their ideas on something that we discussed and give us yeah. a whole different view. A whole different point of, point of view on it. So it's, it's good. That community is another vision that we had, idea with CMS IT Weekly. We wanted to pull together people and, and get them talking about instructional technology within the school setting. So very and, excited. All right, we like to share all the different things that we have to offer. An opportunity to say this is what's going on in instructional technology in CMS and this is what we can come do at your schools and, and this is what we can do with your teachers. Very exciting. And I think we're going to still work on the short and concise. I think we and have the fun down. Well, I have fun. I don't know. Yes. I might be the only one. But uh, we're fun. just redefining what short and concise is. It's not five minutes. Did you just say we're redefining what short and concise is? <laughs> I did. It's within parameters, I yes. guess. There, there aren't too many podcasts out there that are only five minutes long. Uh, definitely not by me. <laughs> no, definitely. So that you know, that's kind of the, the mission. Now we do have some exciting things that we're kind of rolling in. We got some great, as you like to call them, new features that CMS IT Weekly is oh, pulling in. What do you in. like to call them, Tim? New features that CMS okay. IT Weekly is pulling in, and this first one is a doozy. It's my favorite, and I want everyone to use it's it. It's good fun, it, but you're not forcing it. Use it. No, I said I want everyone to use yes, it. Yes, we do want everyone to use the call widget. In, Try it out. In the weekly. Doesn't cost you a dime. You go to the wiki. Cost Jake, though. All you have to do is click on the, the call us button, type in your phone number, and it will call you to then leave a message for us. It will record your, your voice message. It could be a question. It could be a comment on some upcoming IT Weekly. And... We may play it during our We would like to play it. I think that's the honest truth. We would love to have kind of like a call-in time. And so if you're able to use this call widget, then we are able to use your voice and uh, pretend as if you called it. I think we've just redefined short to uh, 15 minutes at, we better, in that regard. We better hurry right along. <laughs> With that call-in You know, part. you can also text us at 980-224-CMS4. 224-CMS4. Give us a text. Why would you want to do that? Well, right. more of that community building, having some fun. Conversation. Yes. Conversation. Don't expect to get texted back between 8 and 10 p.m. Yeah. That's I'm true. sorry, 5 and 10 p.m. Those are the... Maybe between like 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. I don't know. I might text you back range. after 10, but between 8 and... No? All right. Probably not. Something like that. So text We've us. also created a Digo group. Digo group. We is talked cool. about that at the end of the last season, yep. but uh, another place for resources. We will post any uh, websites that we refer to in our weekly podcasts in the Digo You're group. You're going to want to join Digo group. J.mp forward slash CMSIT Digo. Another community building thing. And uh, finally, as far as new features, we got this wonderful. Uh, we've finally been able to upload our videos to iTunes. So, what this means is you can get both the audio and the video in iTunes, and you can carry them around in anything that carries a podcast. Podcast. Whether it's your iPhone or your iPad, you can uh, you can watch the videos. You can listen to us. Uh, Ten minutes. It's a great way to uh, waste some time in the car. Totally. We also have our new instructional technology uh, professional, professional development. elements, the uh, 21st century technology skills and tools. You can uh, join that through MyPD. Just 21, actually, or 21st. In the search, in the did catalog, you, and you'll did you find just it. did you just say Twenty One Jump Street? Yeah, I said Twenty First. Dude, you were so Twenty One Jump Street. Johnny yeah. Depp was like your favorite. He, he's much better as Jack Sparrow and the like. But anyway, uh, seriously, don't go back and watch it. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of offerings here <laughs> in the. Say don't watch Twenty One. <laughs> I did. In the, uh, <sighs> you got better things to do, like our com <laughs> or uh, our professional development here. here. Lots of different uh, web tools that we are going to discuss and skills within uh, the 21st century learning context. Yes. Uh, so join. We're very it. excited about this. We 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 want we want you to come and enjoy. If you're watching this IT Weekly, then you have an opportunity to already earn one fourth of a credit. You got to watch seven more and respond in the Moodle, but these aren't necessarily going to be easy, but they are going to be fun. Definitely, and. Uh, it's kind of an a la carte. You can do any four and get one CEU for it. You could Jake, do. What if I did like eight? If you did eight, you might get a contact from us saying, "Good job, you got two CEUs." <laughs> now go, now go take a break. That's right. Go home because there's a lot of offerings. Yep. Do not engross yourself in all of this. You have. 
So definitely look that up. And uh, I'm excited about season two. And, it's going to be a and good season. And hopefully you guys are getting ready for school. I know the students come next week. And hopefully you're uh, you're ready yourself. You know what? With yeah. that, Jake, I'm out. Was he ever here? <laughs>